How would you like to spend an entire week in the Sauber F1 Team Wind Tunnel? Just keep watching and we'll show you a week's worth of wind tunnel activities from a number of years ago. And we think we'll be showing you more than has ever been shown before. Now we won't be giving you the secrets of our latest car because it's a slightly old video and we've changed a little bit the way we work in the wind tunnel. And one of the things that's changed is we used to work 24 hours a day in three shifts. Now we work less because of restrictions imposed on us by the regulations. But let's start from Sunday night to Monday. So we see the final preparations of the model before we start testing and then testing begins seriously. The, um, the model is able to be raised up and down. Um, we can roll it, yaw it, pitch it. We can steer the wheels. There's lots of things we can do. Um, an actual test uh, is almost like a miniature version of a Grand Prix simulation where we can, we can really move the model around a lot. And if you keep your eye on what the model does, every now and then you'll see some of these motions. And the, the frames we're seeing are actually taken at a, a, a time step. I won't tell you the exact time step. You won't be able to work it out exactly because not all the steps are equal. But uh, you will be able to see a little bit the pit stops happening and the testing happening in the wind tunnel. We also did some maintenance on Wednesday, which is happening right now in the video, where we've covered the model, done some work on the moving ground. Actually, we've removed the belt and then put the belt back on again. And then we go back to doing further testing. We're able to do things like remove the nose, remove the rear wing. We can actually take the whole model apart. Some of the pit stops you, you see, we call them pit stops because for us, it's a little bit like a pit stop. We're, we're trying to do it as quickly, but as well as we can. The main parts of the car can be removed quite quickly and then replaced. And even the whole model can be removed and replaced reasonably quick, quickly, which we do, I believe, twice in this, um, in this one week long sequence. As the model's gone, back again. So we have a steel belt with some uh, um, surface on top of it. It was removed, it's gone back again, and now we go back to doing further testing. So you can see that the boys use a protective mat the belt that we use is made of steel and the steel belt is delicate, it's strong, but it's delicate if you drop something hard on top of it. And then at the end, the little red lights in there, by the way, are lasers that we use for measuring something that just keeps shining 24-7. Then if uh, you'd like to comment, uh, please do comment below and check out our Tech Bytes video. Um, if you enjoyed this, um, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have fun. Enjoy.